today, I think we should focus on diving into more applied energistics and getting auto crafting set up. Even if it's simple auto crafting, having an auto crafting system makes life way easier. Whether that is to craft chests or craft whatever we may need, we can do that with applied energistics. Super simple. I'm going to show you how to do it. So before we get into that, let's go ahead and claim some rewards from last episode. Um, we did get some superior essence, which is really nice from defeating the dragon, which is good to know because killing the dragon, I mean, that's good to know that we get superior supremium from it because we can pretty much kill the dragon pretty quick. Um, we get a lot of money. We get some Indirios. We also get some XP, a random loot reward, Storm Mage hat. And we also get a um, unclaimed black market container, which could grant us a lot of different things. So let's hope it's good. We got Dread Shard. I don't know what that is actually from Ice and Fire. Dreadstone um, has a unique banner pattern. Okay, so it's a it's a banner. Okay, so we can uh, craft a special banner um, with it and also makes these torches, which I don't know what Dreadstone torches do. Maybe you guys can let me know. It probably tells you in the Ice and Fire book once you've unlocked it, but I don't know. Let me know down in the comments what you think that does. I It probably says it right on the wiki, but uh, I have not looked it up, so I have no idea. So I want to go ahead and get this thing set up. I have most of the items crafted and ready to go. Um, what I do need to do, though, is make this a little bit deeper, I think. I need to take that and take it down a bit further. And I'm probably going to have to rescan it, I believe. But I want to be able to hide my cables, right? All right, so let's hook that in. There we go. And then I'm going to rerun this back through here. Just make sure it's linked to this properly. There we go. Um, and then let's go ahead and set this up. So let's get my climbing, turn those back on. Perfect. I think I want to set them in the corner. Right here, I can probably put my processing unit. So I, I have most of the items made. Um, right here, uh, I would do it above ground, but eventually we'll have a multi-block structure set up. So I'm going to just run the cables this way until they connect. Just like this. And right here, just for the sake of it, I'm going to take a single ME controller. And this is going to go right here. And when we hook that in, you're going to see some colorful lights. Um, you get 32 channels on each side of this block, and this can even be a multi-block. So you do have channels that are limited. On these normal cables, you only get eight channels per cable, which is what we're going to work with today. We're not going to go into anything fancy or advanced. We're just going to have this set up, and it's going to be really simple. Now, one of these crafting units, which I'm going to use two co-processors, um, a crafting monitor just so we can kind of see, and 164K storage. This right here is what is going to allow us, and when it is one multi-block, it will be just considered one thing on the system, uh, or at least on this, this line of channels. So I'm gonna go ahead and place the crafting block here, right? I'm gonna place the two, or actually I'm gonna place a crafting monitor here, and then I'm gonna place, oh, what just happened? That was weird. Okay, I just got thrown underground. Weird, oddly enough. Okay, place that there. And then... Place that there. Okay, so this is actually a single processing unit. Um, and it's really nice. Like, this is going to function just fine. As you can see, it is right there. Um, and then what we can do is, on the sides here, I'm going to run separate channels underneath here. And we can still leave the lights... I'm going to try and put it in this corner over here. And I'm just going to put our single crafting station and get it started over here. And what, what do I mean by that? I'm going to use molecular assemblers. And uh, these can be connected with ME cable. We're going to, I'm going to show you here. And this is just for some really simple craft, right? Crafting. And I can place them just like this. If they're glowing like this, you know they are functioning and ready to go and I can stack them, right? And I can continue to stack them up, and I can do that on the other side. This right here is gonna give me a few slots for me to be able to uh, set up a few things. So, um, with these by themselves, they're not really useful. We ha do need, let's see, Applied Energistics. We are going to need, let's see if I have enough for them. 
Where are they at? There we are. An ME interface. So we're going to need some ME interfaces. Looks like I still need some more Fluix. I'm going to go ahead and grind some more Fluix up. I've, I, you use so much Fluix. You don't even realize how much Fluix you're going to use. Um, okay. And these interfaces are what's going to connect to this. And you can use regular quartz for this as well. There we go. That is plenty. Perfect. I wish I would stay. I need to set this to auto keep. There we go. There's our interface. And I'm going to grab four of these. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slap these just like this on these. And this is where you're going to store your patterns. We still need a pattern monitor. So I'm going to grab a pattern monitor. Don't think it's too expensive for this. It is going to require like a regular... I have a few of those. Yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna have to make one of these. So now that I have this all made and ready to go, I'm just gonna slap it on the back here. That should work and uh, put a blank pattern in. Now, this is where we can start to craft out different things. Um, and you can see right here, we have or dictionary for substitutes. And basically we can change this to processing or crafting. Um, and this is where we're going to craft our stuff. So if I want to make chests, I can say, okay, let's take wood. And I want to turn this into logs. Bam. I can go ahead and set that craft. And then what I can do is I can place that in an interface here. And let's go to wood. And right now I have a little bit. If I hit control on this, I think it's control... I don't remember what the button. I thought it was control to request an item. If I take it all out, I can see though, I do have the ability to do that here. So I can say, all right, I want to craft 10. Next, start that process. Take a look, wood, it's already crafted those 10. And it would have went in here pretty quick, pretty quick. Um, and you can do multiple processes because we have these different processors, but you can make these things quite large, right? This is the central processor that is gonna work for our crafts. It is limited, but it is enough to get us started. So moving forward, we need to go fight some guardians and we need to take these guys out. Um, so what I wanna use is a night vision upgrade and we can just apply that real quick. There we go and put it on our helmet. Should go in the only slot. Now, I think there's an option and you look up dark and you search category and you'll find dark steel armor and we'll set this to in. Now I know N already has a, it already has something set to it. Of course, none is going to show up. Um, I think it was the bats that has it set up, but still it should work, right? Oh, maybe not. It's applied, but it's not turning on and off. So there still is a control that is blocking it. So it should be in red. There's night vision. There's alt in, that's not it. Insert alt minus. Ah, it's this one right here for vampirism. So yes, it was part of it. And I'll turn off that one as well. Now, there we go. Now we turn it on and off. Now I think this consumes power. Maybe while this is on, I don't remember, but we can turn it on and off pretty quickly. And uh, it's gonna allow us to uh, go underwater a lot better. It's going to allow us to do that. So let's go fight some guardians. I do have a couple of buckets. I'm going to need to fill them up because when we go down there, we're going to have to harvest a few things. I also think I should probably have a magnet at this point. So magnet and there's tons of different kinds of magnets, but one of my favorites and really simple to make is these, right? And we can just upgrade them. I think we have the copper and make some copper. We can make this upgraded and we can go probably even one more. I think we have Electrum and Invar. There we go. Can I take it up to Signalium and Electrum? Oh yeah, I probably can. And I think I can take it up even further. I think I can, I think I have enough flux. Signalium. And there we go. We have a resonant. We have literally the most upgraded thing, <laughs> magnet that we can get. Hold shift for details. Okay, press none to enable attraction. 
So this is going to be under, I think under the, so if you guys are looking for this in options, it's under cough core and we search category and cycle item mode. I think this is the thing and I can set this to something. Let's apostrophe. Apostrophe doesn't work. Semicolon period. Will that work? Yes. Attraction enabled, attraction disabled. And I thought this needs a charge. It does need a charge. So we throw it in there. Now it's all charged up. And I like to keep this on my hotbar because I want to be able to turn it on and off. Right? It It's really important to be able to turn it on and off because there's a lot of things that I just really hate picking up all the time. But it will help us in this case. And when I'm not using it, I'll probably throw it in my bag. Let's find some cows, get some milk. And then we know where to go. We're going to go over that temple over there. So I think the first time we came over here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, uh oh, we got this guy to deal with. Um, this guy is going to make some noise, isn't he? Yeah, we got to get rid of this guy first. If I can just get up on him, take him out. He's like a dragon, like an underwater dragon. Like I hate these guys. All right, he's going to swim away like a coward. Look at this guy just glitch out, like just go crazy. How much health does this serpent have? Where's it at? Oh, there it is. Oh, we, we killed one. Oh, nice. We actually got a reward for that. For killing that serpent. What was our reward? Go to bosses? Is it actually considered a boss? Oh, nice. Oh, we got a golden egg. Oh, we got to use that golden egg back at her base. That's going to be super cool. Okay, so yes, we have guardians. Let's get back on task here. I think we should be able to one-shot these. Oh, yeah, we can one-shot them. Almost. Well, that one, my sword wasn't drawn back. Okay, so that magnet should help pull those items in for us. And we should be able to pretty much breathe underwater almost indefinitely. I think we still have the water charm. All right, we need to get into the main part of this thing. Let's go ahead and mine here. We're not taking mining fatigue or not mining fatigue. What's whatever it's called. There we go. It's from this guardian. And I wonder if you know what? We could probably spawn these in our mob spawner or create a new mob spawner for these guys specifically. And that would probably be a good thing. I mean, I would have to say oh, a little bit of a lag spike here that happens every now and then. Yeah, this place has definitely just been destroyed. Yeah, this this thing does wonders, actually. Even underwater, it's doing a pretty good job. Oh, that thing's shooting at us. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up a minute. Hold up a minute. We are not dying under here. Hold up a minute. We got to get out of here. We have got to get. How did we all are we almost die? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let's let's guzzle some milk. Okay, that was not cool. All right. Whatever mob that was that straight up just about murdered us is not cool. All right. Is the guardian actually on the list? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Interesting. So I think that was probably the only one left, right? That would be the interest. This, this place is just completely wrecked. Just completely obliterated. Oh, wow. We got lucky there, didn't we? We got really lucky. Go ahead and collect all those sponges because those are not cheap. Yep, and I think that's about it. I, I I needed a few things. I need like prismarine. I need the glass from here. And that's the main things I'm really needing. And I think I can make this in other ways too, but yeah. Oh, yep. There's another guardian here. Oh, well, I'm good. We're getting out of here anyways. Eat my Endurios. Oh, yeah. And we're going to head <laughs> head back home. So out of all that, not too bad. We got some prismarines, some stuff that I don't mind. I don't know why this is going red. That seems like some kind of weird bug. 
whenever I shift click items in, for some reason it goes red. Kind of weird. Let's go ahead and use this golden egg though. Let's get this, uh, let's put this thing to use. We do need to find an area that is uh, a little bit of ways away. Like out here will do. Get that guy out of the way. We place this down and we right click it. From open blocks, right? I think right clicking works. Yes. And it starts spinning. And we could technically speed this up. We're doing a little bit of a time in a bottle on it. Honestly, I can make it go way faster. And up and away and it picks up blocks, which is why I wanted to take it away from my base. And looky there. Oh yeah. We have a little me. <laughs> a little mini chosen architect just running around, you know, causing havoc. I think he's just going to break every single flower. And I'm just going to leave him over there to do his thing. Yeah. I don't think I... Oh, I can reach. Oh, good. Maybe we can get a bottle. Um, Ender I.O. Oh, yeah. I can take a soul vial. Let's just pick him up with a soul vial. Nice. So that way we can put him in a little box. I'll trap him in a box in my, uh, my base over here. Let's do that. Um, so we need some glass and we can uh, trap them in a little room. I think that would work pretty good, right? We'll be really mean to them as well. We'll make sure to, you know, it is ourself. So let's trap them in a, a box that is wood. Why not? Why not? All right, we got cobble. Let's see. Kit. There we go. Sharpening kit. Get her pick cleaned up. All right, so we can go ahead and... Where do I want to put... You know what? We should probably put him here. Like, every time we teleport over here, we'll be able to see him. <laughs> Just chilling out. This could work. I like this. I like this idea. Trap him in a, a box room. Put the glass here. And then we need to hurry up and place this and place the glass. And there's a little uh, hidden chosen architect inside there. Nice. He is now and forever my pet. Ain't that right? So one thing I seem to always need is some wood. I always need wood and I'm getting tired of just harvesting it myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and set up a little area somewhere over here. Um, you know what? This area right up here might actually be a pretty decent spot to set up an automated tree farm. So what we're going to need is a planter and a gatherer. These are from Industrial Foregoing. Pretty straightforward. What you do is you just place down the plant sower. And you know what? I might not do it here because this is the uh, spot where I overlaid a little bit of soil. So we might do it like right here. This is probably a good place as well. Um, so like I said, we need a plant sower. And it needs to be in a pretty decent location. So right here is fine. Plant sower. This is going to plant the crops. And it can actually go under the ground. So right here is fine. And then I'm going to do a little area. I'm going to probably do, what, a 5x5? Five five? We need to make sure we get the proper upgrades for these things. But I think right here is going to be plenty. Let's go ahead and place this here. And I'm going to place this facing the other direction like that and this should create a pretty decent size area right two on this side two on that side and this also needs to match that upgrade so let's take a look at the upgrades or industrial i think it's the plus add-on to this one right here let's see what this size is yes this is the right size so that is definitely the add-on same should go for this add-on. When we show the bounding box, it fits. Of course, they're going to start conflicting. That's fine. All right, so let's go ahead and also get the GPS for power hooked up to these guys. Right now, there's no power going to them, but that's fine. We're going to get this hooked up before we get the power going. Okay, so we want to change this to uh, crop handling or crop hoeing disabled. I don't want it to hoe the ground. Always active is fine. This right here is gather anything, gathering trees. We want it set to gathering trees because that's what we're going to be having this set up to do. And this right here is fluid sludge. Whenever it starts to harvest crops, 
it will start to generate that. All right, so this is gonna collect a couple things. So we need to make sure that one thing goes in here called saplings. So we're probably gonna need a filter. And we're only gonna need a filter for the saplings, so don't worry too much about this. Wow, am I literally just missing a chest? I will make it that way then. Nice. Awesome, so the setting the tree, that's gonna be super simple. Let's just go ahead and get the sapling placed in here. We'll set that to insert, place this, make sure it's only accepting saplings in here. And what you can do is you can also fill this whole thing with saplings and lock the inventory, so that way only saplings go in here. Now we need somewhere else for these to go, so what I'm gonna do is probably just place some storage drawers out here. That will allow me to, uh, you know, get a storage drawer system set up. Um, and I might, I think, just a few storage drawers will be fine. Because we'll need a storage drawer for apples, a storage drawer for... I don't think we'll need ex extra saplings, so maybe... We'll see. We'll see what all we need. But I think for right now, not too much. And we can have all these hooked up directly. Not gonna hurt anything. It'd be nice if I, uh, if I used a shovel. You guys probably are screaming at me for not using a shovel. But I, I hardly ever, ever do. Okay. So we'll just set the conduits right here to do their thing. Now we do want to make sure this is priority number one. So this has a higher priority. So that way the saplings go in there. And uh, these will be all set to insert as well. Insert and... Once the item's in there, we don't have to worry about it anymore. Set this to extract, always active. Perfect. Okay. So, now that this is done, I mean, we need to just place the dirt back. Just like this, and probably put the saplings in there. All right, once we give this some power, I mean, really, we're just waiting for the trees. We'll wait for the trees to be growing. That's the only thing that's gonna take some time with this. We throw those in there. Go back up. We should see that saplings are being planted, and they are. And we just kind of wait. I think we have a watering can. That should help the saplings grow up a little bit faster. I'm I'm assuming that this is probably gonna start trying harvesting, or it's gonna try and harvest these leaves maybe. Well, no, it shouldn't because this is within range. We'll see. Let's go ahead and uh, see if I can't get these to grow. We don't see any water particles. Oh, there's a tree growing. So that should know that that tree is there. And looky there, chopping it down. All right, so that's giving us these apple pieces. I'm not really interested in those. So what we can do is have a trash can that just dumps everything that doesn't go in here. It'll trash it and put it elsewhere. Like, I don't need these silkworms. We're gonna need another trash can, right? So trash can, voila. If only I've made, there we go, trash can. We can hook this into the side down here. And that should uh, be about it. It's not super complicated, right? Set this up, place that down there. This will need to be on priority. So we'll need to change the priority of everything. So this needs to be priority two. And we'll change this, these all to priority one and leave everything else priority zero on this one. And we'll set that to insert. I'm not gonna do it just yet because I want it to collect a little bit of something, something. I wanna make sure that all of this works. So this machine is gonna start building up sludge, right? And I'm pretty sure once it hits max, it doesn't fill anymore, and it doesn't stop the machine from working as far as I know. Um, and I would use the sludge, but it doesn't really give you, not, it doesn't really give you anything that great. It can like generate sand and clay and things like that and potentially soul sand sometimes. But other than that, it's not really worth using. So I don't want to have another thing draining power just because of sludge. But it does seem like most of the stuff that is coming from these trees are wood, silkworms, these bewitchment um, apples, and these apples, right? These are rotten apples. Yeah, oak apple gall, what it's called. So I'm definitely getting apples. I don't care for the silkworms. Silkworms are useful for some things, 
it just mostly string automation and like you can create an entire room that generates tons and tons of string um, out of them but it's not worth really doing since we have a mob farm so guys i hope you enjoyed today's episode if you did be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and also click that subscribe button if you haven't already guys i hope to see you in the next episode and as always thanks for watching Thank you.